The signs of the end times are occurring all around the world. And just three days away, a huge event will happen. God has confirmed and declared that many events are unfolding right now, fulfilling numerous ancient biblical prophecies. However, this particular event is coming right after three days. Before I tell you what this particular prophetic message is all about and how it is going to affect your life and the fate of this nation in a huge way, I would like to pray to the Holy Spirit to guide these words. I believe you have called the right people, your people to get a glimpse of your mighty plans. I surrender my mind to your will and I offer you my praises. The line of Judah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I invite your presence into this space and I ask you to be my guide and guide my tongue to speak what you want me to speak. Bless your people, O Holy Spirit. Bless your children, this nation, and each and every single individual receiving these words right now. Now this is what I heard this morning. God spoke to me in my spirit. He said, It is done. Children of the Almighty, a moment of completion looms on the horizon of your existence. Prepare yourselves, for you are on the verge of witnessing the fulfillment of divine promises. Remember, God is not just the creator of our lives. He is also the orchestrator of our destinies. And mark my words, right after the three days, a significant transformation is destined to unfold in, in your life. Heavenly gifts are descending upon you, poised to revolutionize not just your circumstances, but your very perception of God and His kingdom. Prepare to receive this spiritual gift of discernment, enabling you to perceive the world through spiritual eyes. In this new vision, you will discern the ancient prophecies being fulfilled all around the world. Moreover, your spiritual eyes will be opened to the abundant blessings that surround you. Even in the midst of adversity, you will perceive the hand of God at work in every trial, molding and shaping you into the vessel of His divine purpose. And in the midst of this transformation, you will find yourself drawn ever closer to the heart of God. Your relationship with the Divine will deepen as you come to know Him, not just as your Creator, but as your Father, your Redeemer, and your constant companion on life's journey. This is what God has declared about you this time. He said, My beloved children, I speak to you today with a message of hope and promises. Many of you find yourselves in a situation where you feel trapped, unable to move forward or backward, left or right. You feel stagnant as if life is on hold and blessings are delayed. But fear not, for I am breaking the curses that hold you back from receiving my abundant blessings, even in the times of lack. It is done already, and now I am providing you of so many spiritual gifts. Do you remember the miracle of Jesus? How he fed thousands with little food 
how he turned embarrassment into celebration at the wedding in Cana. Just as he provided for the needs of the people then, I will provide for you now. I am not only interested in your eternal salvation, but in every aspect of your life. I desire to walk with you, to bless you, to empower you, and to glorify my Son through you. Understand that when Jesus died for you, He not only forgave your sins, but also broke the curse of poverty and lack. Through faith, you can inherit the blessings promised to Abraham. You have been redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus, a price unmatched by anything in this world. I want you to taste heaven on earth to experience my glory and abundance in every area of your life. You are not bound by the limitations of this world's economy, but by the limitless resources of my kingdom. Trust in me, have faith in my word, and I will manifest my promises in your life. But remember, faith requires action. Just as you would claim an inheritance left to you by a loved one, so too must you claim the blessings I have promised you. Do not let doubt and unbelief steal what is rightfully yours. Rise up in faith like Gideon and claim the victory that is already yours in Christ Jesus. I am calling you, my beloved, to be mighty warriors in the face of adversity. You are not alone in your struggles. I am with you, guiding you, empowering you. Look to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith and know that through him you can overcome every obstacle and inherit the blessings I have prepared for you. So stand firm, my children, and trust in my promises. The breakthrough you seek is on the horizon, and I am with you every step of the way. Right after the three days, these events will start unfolding in your life. But only if you walk in faith, if you walk in victory. For I am the Lord your God, and I will never leave you nor forsake you, declares the Lord. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Prepare your hearts to receive this divine gift of spiritual vision. Embrace it with humility and gratitude, for it is a sacred blessing bestowed upon you by the grace of God. As you walk forward into the new realm of spiritual insight, may you be guided ever closer to the fulfillment of a divine destiny. Now I pray, may the Heavenly Father, whose love knows no bounds, shower you with His abundant blessings and grace. May His divine presence surround you, comforting you in the times of distress and guiding you along the path of righteousness. May the words of encouragement and wisdom that flow from His mouth be a source of inspiration and guidance for you. May the blessings of the Lord overtake you, filling your life with abundance and joy. May you experience the miraculous provision of God, just as Jesus fed the multitude with five loaves and two fish, and turned water into wine 
at the wedding in Cana. And may you rest in the assurance that God's love for you knows no bounds and His mercy endures forever. Amen.